Welcome, you meta freak. Today, we're going to talk about the top five indicators to look for when trying to find the best time to buy into an NFT. Now, we're talking about massive amounts of money being spent on JPEGs of pictures of monkeys here. So don't just watch snippets of this video. If you want to actually change your NFT game, watch through this entire video rather than tiptoe through the bullet points. This isn't a mindless TikTok video. There's actual substance in this video that 97% of people don't have the patience to sit through. You're a meta freak. You're different. So inject this information into your bloodstream so you can live and breathe digital monkeys and pandas. Also hit the subscribe button right now so you get my videos sent directly to your homepage. And trust me, you don't wanna miss anything. So let's get started. Number one, look at who the top holders are. Do they usually sell? Are the top holders, do they usually sell and move on? Or do they collect and hold things long-term? If there are really big wallet holders, that is a red flag. Sometimes NFT projects will have a third of the entire supply owned by one person. And it could just be the founders. And if they were to sell, Sell, that would be detrimental. The price would be tumbling down and you'd just be glued to your screen wondering if you should sell or not. Just watching your money tumble. So how do we find out who the top holders are and how many of them are. Okay, so we're looking here at CryptoPunks. So let's click into a CryptoPunk. You can click into any NFT, just go to a single asset and then click on details. Click on the contract address, it will send you here. Then right over here, it'll say tracker, click on the view token tracker page. You'll go to a page like this and you'll see holders. And then we can see how many holders are there are. So we can see here, there's a wallet that holds 412. That is the top holder. Top holder is holding 412 crypto punks and you know these wallets here could just be like developer wallets to burn or something like that but if you go down to rank three we do have a real wallet here, Wilcox.eth. He's holding 245. The point is here, you don't want a small amount of people holding a bunch of the supply. And that brings us to the next point. Number two, distribution. This tells us how distributed the assets are over the holders. The less people that own multiple equals less sellers equals less sell pressure. And I'll show you guys how you can get the distribution percentage to help you with this. So let's just pull up an NFT collection here, doodles. And we can see that there are 10,000 doodles, 6,000 owners. So you divide the owners by the amount of supply, multiply that by 100, and you get 60%. The larger this percentage, the easier it is for the price to move upwards. And before we get on to the third point, you guys need to follow me on Twitter at Nick is meta for some crypto shit posting. I'm sure you're going to love everything I post on there. So go follow me. Number three, the amount of listings. The less the listings there are, the less sellers. So to find the amount of sellers, click on the buy now status thing here. And we can see for Genesis Critters, there are 91 items being sold right now. And I've been watching this pretty closely. And this number has been going down. The amount of people listening listing their critters and the price has been going up. This means that people are not wanting to sell their NFTs. They want to keep them for whatever reason. Maybe they're bullish on the project. They'd rather keep the NFT than pay the Ethereum gas fees to list it on OpenSea. And yeah, starting just yesterday, I've been seeing the listings go down for critters and you could see the price has been going up, baby. People are holding. So if you like a project, keep an eye on the listings. You don't want to buy when people are greedy and want to hold their NFTs. The time to buy critters was about right here. And of course, you know, buy low, sell high, the obvious. But the people that are buying in now on critters, they're FOMOing in. They lost on some of the gains they could have made. And I could have bought more critters, but I also wanted to buy into other projects like Ether Orcs or Eternal Elves, which is a project I really like. If you guys want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comments. Very interesting project. There's actually some people that are working on Ether Orcs working on Eternal Elves too. So we're seeing a little bit of crossover there and they know what they're doing. So look to buy when people are panicking and selling their NFTs at a low price. Capitalize on their fear. That's usually when the price starts to dwindle and you can find an entry there. You want to minimize the amount of risk as much as possible. And buying when people are panicking and selling their NFTs cheap is a good way to do that because you're lowering the amount that it could keep going down. Never FOMO into a project. Never do it. It never ends well. Number four, are we at? Number four, 
price walls. Take a look at the prices. Right now here on Critters, we're seeing a pretty thin order book. So the floor right now is 1.79, and it doesn't take that many Critters to be bought until we get to two Ethereum. If someone were just to come in and sweep the top row of this, we'd be at two Ethereum here. It could either be one person that comes in and sweeps it, or maybe just a bunch of volume comes in. Four and a half. OpenSea has night mode. I just noticed that. We're turning that on. If you don't use night mode on everything, you might be a psychopath. We want to be freaks, not psychopaths. Paths. Number five, auctions. So if you go into the activity tab on OpenSea, you can see there is a red Ethereum symbol. That means someone put a bid on the asset and didn't just buy now. And if there are a bunch of red Ethereum symbols, that means there's not as many buyers. People are putting in bids to be able to buy at a lower price the price that they want. And that means these sellers are willing to sell their NFTs at a lower price. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this. If you guys want me to make a video on the NFT projects that I'm looking into right now, subscribe to this channel so it gets sent directly to your homepage. Let me know in the comments what videos you want to see and follow me on Twitter at Nick is a Meta. See you freaks in the next video.